Track wrestling here, Trnava Slovakia Junior World Championships with USA Wrestling Junior World Women's Freestyle Coach Kevin Black. Tough night, a couple really tough ones uh, to swallow. Uh, let, let's start with the first one. Uh, Macy Kilty, a loss uh, in the gold medal match at 68 kilos. Uh, really impressive yesterday and then uh, couldn't get much going. What, uh, what do you think was the difference in that championship match? for her not being able to get on track offensively? Well, I think, um, the, so one of the biggest areas that we've been working on with Macy throughout this whole entire year is um, the mental skills. And she can, she can do everything on the mat. She really can. She can attack both sides. She can attack high and low. She's got some sneaky little upper body attacks, and she's good on top and on bottom and the front headlock, but she's good in every position. But I think what you know, 17-year-old Macy Kilty still struggles with is some of the mental skills. And, you know, we're not going to give away all the secrets and things we're working on, but um, I think that when when she goes back and looks at the video and, and really tries to evaluate what happened, I don't know that she'll pinpoint a whole lot of technical things. I think there are a couple places where she lost focus mentally, and um, that's going to be our our thought process, I think, is things we're going to talk about, and that's really, really difficult stuff to work on. The, the single leg finish is easy, right? Um, it's going to be a hard, hard thing, and, and um, you know, it's going to really take Macy digging deep to to go to some vulnerable places for her with those mental skills. So, yeah, and and that girl's really good, and she just kept clearing the ties, and she knew how to wrestle, she knew how to win at the world level, and. Yeah, just got out wrestled. Yeah, a girl that's uh, finished third at senior level Russian Nationals this year and returning junior world champ. Do you think that that played any part in that mental stuff you're talking about? I don't think so. Um, Macy's really never into that kind of stuff. I, um, I think that these this week she was a little tense, a little nervous, but she was before cadets and you know she is before Fargo and I think it was normal. Um, just just tension and anxiety for her, um, but I don't think that it had anything to do with, with the individual. Um, she'll wrestle anybody in the world at any time, and um, just today it didn't think of her way. What positives can she take away from this tournament? Oh my goodness, a lot of positives. I think I think every time we come away from places like this, this is, this is her first junior tournament, um, and she's right there she's right there you know and we were at a camp um, in Fresno and there were some struggles but she got to wrestle some senior level world world medalist and she can score on those girls so she can wrestle with every single person in the world from 16 years old to 35 years old and um, so the wrestling part isn't a concern yeah she needs to get better we're gonna keep improving but it's it's not a physical thing for her so um, so it really now, after a match like this, um, it can sink in a little bit deeper and, and know that it's important to go to work on that mental stuff and to really take control of our attention and to really get composed and to be able to refocus when things aren't going your way. Alicia Hawk uh, loses one where if you had a half second more, she wins, or yeah. maybe even a tenth of a second more, she wins. What do you, do you say to her afterward? Um, I mean, I, I guess, you know, after I just gave her a hug and said I don't really have anything to say, sometimes things just don't work out. And, um, and I've got little kids, and we always say, you know, when you say it's not fair, um, like, well, you got to get over it. Life's not fair, and that's the way it is. And, um, you know, if I, I, I haven't looked at the video yet, obviously. I don't know if I'm going to, but... There just were some really shady things that happened throughout the entire match. I mean, her fingers are just all mangled up from fingernail claws and her neck, and they pulled a hair and whatever. All that stuff is frustrating. And whether if you're an athlete, if you're a coach, if you're a referee, there's a lot of people volunteering their time and sacrificing. The referees is a tireless, thankless job. And people can make mistakes, but when it feels like it's not a mistake, that's hard to swallow. And that's how I feel right now. And um, I don't know if that there's anything we can do about it. Um, from a wrestling standpoint for Allie, there's just some little things. We spent four weeks really focused on what it took to be successful here. She gave up a four-pointer early in the match. You give up a four-pointer, it changes things at the end of the match, right? A takedown to tie, you're still behind on criteria. So I threw a challenge brick in on the chance that we had to, and, and, and we didn't. 
but it was okay if we lost that point because we needed another takedown anyways. So um, those four points matter, you know, to give up two instead of four can be the difference. So, um, and then at the end with a leg lace, you know, it's like she just was fighting hard and going for it. And um, I think now she'll look at the video and be like, oh, I just had to drive her forward and get her to a knee. Yeah. And so that's what I was going to um, ask. Was that the, yeah, so, the do over? But she was going, she was yep. going hard and she was fighting. And, and we did uh, in our training, we, she was so incredible in these little short second situations. And it was like, she talked about it. There was a match that happened before her and she looked at me, she's like, that's a 10 second, the 10 second stuff. And it was, and she scored, well, right, with 10.1 seconds, you know, but there's only 10 left, so. What would bouncing back and, and winning a bronze tomorrow do for her? It'd be really, really important for us and for the program and for everything that we're doing. And um, both Macy and, and Allie came and we were prepared. We were ready for this tournament. And um, I think that she has sacrificed and invested a lot. And I really want her to feel the fruit and to be able to collect on some of those investments tomorrow. So it would be really important. We're, we're talking about a couple of Wisconsin girls that you've, yeah. you've spent a lot of time with. How much growth have you seen in their wrestling from the time you first met them and um, started coaching them? Well, I mean, I think you can watch a tournament like this and um, and see that, you know, our, our two River Falls girls are the ones that are in medal contention right now. And so I think that, that the, the, the preparation or train, training matters. Training matters. What you do three weeks out and four weeks out and ten weeks out matters and and I think when when we've got a age group that is in that 18 to 20 year old you know they're in college they go back to school they're doing like I'm telling you what like training matters lifestyle matters and um, and Macy and Allie are locked in and so um, I think that's why you, you see performances like they had here so far and you know obviously Allie's not done but they're prepared and they're trained well and they're they're ready for these events you've spent a lot of time training great wrestlers mm -hmm. I mean your relationship with Helen and what she's gone on to do and others as well what characteristics do these two have that are special yeah um, so they they both have a little bit of Helen which is, is fun for me because I can identify those things and, and hopefully be able to fan the flames and and so, so for Macy it is the attention to de detail it, like almost like a perfection perfectionist kind of um, attitude and, and, it, and it's good and it's bad right and there's like sometimes our strengths are also our weaknesses so sometimes for her it, it pulls her back into if it's not perfect like it's just done we're just done it's like well no okay if it's not perfect well we got to still make sure 95% gets the job done instead of if it's not perfect well then it's zero and, and so that that's a working process for her um, but and, and Helen is the same way like perfect 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 didn't take a day off in practice like everything mattered the way that she drilled the way that executed everything mattered so Macy's got some of that perfection mindset and um, when she gets to a place I think it's just a growth thing when she gets to a place where she knows for sure that every second matters in practice no matter who she's wrestling no matter what the situation is no matter if she feels good or if she feels bad it's gonna be scary <laughs> scary good um, Allie it's like it's like is almost on the opposite side like she's not a perfectionist and like she wants to succeed and be perfect but one of the things about her that reminds me a lot of Helen is she just she has this really really strong um, sense of vulnerability and she's willing to go places mentally emotionally physically that are uncomfortable because it's going to help her become a better person um, and a better wrestler and a better daughter and a better friend and all of those sorts of things and and she's willing to put it on the line you know she's secure in who she is um, it's not an identity issue she's already secure in her identity and in her faith so she can just lay it out on the line every time and um, sometimes it creates a lot of emotions which is you know sometimes things you deal with but um, it's really there it's a real special character trait that I think is what has made Helen so successful and has endured her to so many people across the world and she's just vulnerable and people can identify with that so that's I see I see that in, in Allie and um, that's that's fun that's fun to work with anything else for us um, I think you know I mean we just have to get better we gotta get better as a as a country we just have to keep doing things right um, and we have to also we have to also make sure 
that we make adjustments when we're not doing things right. And we had a good conversation with our athletes yesterday, um, some people who fell short and, you know, like, yeah, we just gotta, we gotta make sure that we're doing everything right. And just because you do everything right, and I think Allie had this, you know, in the semis, it's like, she did everything right in preparation. Macy did everything right in preparation. That doesn't get you anything. It only puts you in a position to actually earn it. So you still gotta go out there and perform. But if you don't do everything right, you're not gonna have that opportunity. And so, that, I mean, that's, that, that's what these two girls learned, and that's what we're gonna go back to River Falls and talk about. It's like, you can do everything right, you can train, you can have it all, all your ducks in a row feel good, and it's only going to give you the opportunity to get the things that you're working for. <laughs> you know, if you don't do everything right, you're not even going to get the opportunity. You know, then it's yeah. pie in the sky. And so, so that that that's the takeaway too for Team USA. It's like you got to do everything right if you even want the opportunity to try to win the medal on that night.